I-beam mass manufacturing process. I-beam manufacturing involves a complex process that begins with melting huge amounts of steel. Scrap metal or raw materials are loaded into a blast furnace, where they are heated to incredibly high temperatures until they become liquid. This molten steel is then poured into a continuous casting machine, where it solidifies into a long continuous billet. The billet is then reheated and rolled through a series of forming machines to shape it into the desired I-beam profile. Finally, the I-beams are cooled, inspected, and cut to the required lengths. This process requires precise temperature control, efficient material handling, and advanced machinery to ensure the production of high-quality I-beams. Factory Mass Production of Air Impact Wrench The mass production of air impact wrenches is a complex process involving a series of intricate steps. Starting with raw materials like steel, the process often begins with forging, where the metal is shaped into the desired form. This is followed by machining, where precise dimensions and tolerances are achieved through cutting, drilling and grinding.
Heat treatment is a crucial step to enhance the wrench's strength and durability. Assembly involves fitting together the various components, including the housing, rotor and anvil. Quality control measures are implemented throughout the process to ensure that each wrench meets stringent standards before being packaged and shipped to customers. This efficient production process allows for the rapid and cost-effective manufacturing of these essential tools. Buddhist Candle Mass Production Process Buddhist Candle Mass Production Process is a highly mechanized process that involves several stages. First, high-quality wax, often paraffin or beeswax, is melted and filtered to remove impurities. Then, specialized machines inject this molten wax into molds, creating the desired shape and size of the candles. Wicks, typically made of cotton or hemp, are carefully inserted into the molds before the wax is poured. Once the candles have cooled and solidified, they are removed from the molds and inspected for defects. Wax Preparation the wax is often blended with other substances, such as dyes or fragrances, to create candles with specific colors, scents or properties. For example, some candles may contain essential oils or herbs believed to have spiritual or therapeutic benefits. Molding techniques Various molding methods are used, including injection molding, dipping and casting. Injection molding is particularly common for mass production, as it allows for precise control over the shape and size of the candles. Yeah. 
Wick preparation. Wicks are often treated with chemicals to prevent them from fraying or burning too quickly. They may also be braided or twisted to improve their performance. Quality control. Quality control is a critical aspect of Buddhist candle production. Candles are inspected for defects such as uneven burning, air bubbles or cracks. They may also be tested for their ability to hold a flame and produce a desired amount of light. Packaging and labeling. Candles are typically packaged in individual boxes or sleeves. The packaging may include information about the type of wax, wick, and any special features of the candles. Labels may also include religious symbols or mantras. Process of making a steel Volvo excavator bucket. The creation of a Volvo excavator bucket is a complex process that requires meticulous attention to detail and advanced engineering techniques. Beginning with a computer-aided design model, engineers meticulously plan the bucket's dimensions, shape and material composition to ensure optimal performance and durability. The design is then transferred to a cutting machine, where high-strength steel plates are precisely cut to fit the specified specifications. These plates are subsequently joined together using advanced welding techniques, such as robot welding, to form the bucket's robust structure. To enhance the bucket's strength and resistance to wear, it undergoes heat treatment and may be coated with protective materials. Finally, 
The bucket is equipped with essential components, including teeth, side cutters, and a cutting edge to enable efficient excavation and material handling. This intricate manufacturing process guarantees the production of a Volvo excavator bucket that is both durable and capable of meeting the demanding requirements of heavy construction and earth-moving tasks. Giant Concrete Pipe Manufacturing Process The production of giant concrete pipes is a complex process requiring precision and quality control. Typically, the process begins with the preparation of a mold, which is often made of steel and designed to withstand the weight of the wet concrete. After the mold is prepared, a reinforcing cage is inserted, providing structural integrity to the pipe. The concrete mix, carefully formulated to meet specific strength and durability requirements, is then poured into the mold and compacted to eliminate air pockets. The pipe is cured for a period of time, allowing the concrete to harden and gain strength. Once cured, the pipe is removed from the mold and inspected for defects before being transported to the installation site.